Luke Cart is making his debut in Venice Beach. Oh! <laughs> I've been waiting for you. You've been asking where are the hoops you've been hiding. We're revealing the map. There's going to be a lot of treasures hidden along the way. Carl's getting out to the neighbors. I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Metal, 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 man. Very, very, very good stuff. jump anymore what's up with that look at fits like a glove so we're going to connect the two there we got all these hoops basketball all over the world this morning has been intense last three days 45 hoops have been made out of the lab 46 the, 46 i apologize and we're getting ready for the survival hoop hunt man it's easter my favorite holiday we're bringing the whole community together to uh, enjoy all these cherished treasures. I'm about to go on an installing spree. We fixed a lot of hoops, you know, after a year of wear and tear, the sun and everything else, the, the hoops took a little bit of a beating. So, you know, that's what the hoop doctors do. They go around the neighborhood, make sure all the hoops are doing fine, do a little fix up, a little band-aid, and they're back and ready to go. No, I have a cup that'll fit in here that'll hold it. Oh. So it'll still be out. Okay. <laughs> the only reason I was riding my bike growing up is to go to the playground. It's like, what's a bike for if you're not going to go get buckets? Terrific neighbors brought me these two bikes and said, go ahead, cut them up and do whatever you need to do with them. Well, they cut them up, but we're going to go by their house and their baby survival hoops. So all these fine treasures, if you steal, you're going to be in big trouble, man. We're going to send the NHA police as a neighborhood hoops association that we're nothing to mess with, okay? It was an honor and a privilege to, to be a part of this movement. Um, being the first person you know, to actually be contracted to build these, it's a great opportunity. And uh, I've enjoyed every, every moment, every hoop that I've made, every smile that we brought to people. Come look at what we got in the back. Yeah, I love the one down there. You can speak. That is incredible. These come from, uh, uh, from a church, and you're probably familiar with the church where white men um, can't jump, where they played that scene when they went down to Watts. These are the bars. Yeah, so funny. No. That was like my first movie. Those are the bars, right? White man can't jump? Yeah, yeah you gotta yeah. come see that court we did down there. It doesn't get better than this. This is, I love this idea. When I saw that one and the ones down there, just like, it makes you want to bring out a basketball and just start playing. Got more hoops to make, baby. Y si cae la pelota para de qué lado? Es una buena oportunidad para conocer a sus vecinos. Sí, verdad. Yeah. We were looking for something to wedge it, and here goes some Jordan 11 sitting right there. Sunday is the Easter is the Easter hoop hunt so we want everyone to come out to like look at that map wherever they come out of their house go north or go south with the map and shoot some hoops beautiful guys
want to dance soon, it's gonna pop the question. Congratulations, shook his hand, shook out, they threw a strip party at my uncle's house. Did it hit me? Pam, Pam. Cart is making his debut in Venice Beach, California. I don't know how you guys run down the boardwalk, this is great. Matter. 25 of us riding through the alley. Real fun, a game of survival. First one to make 75 hoops with at least a 10 will be the champion of this Easter hoop hunt. I'm pregnant with basketball. Flowing. The courts are still locked in Venice, but we're having a blast. You see, we got four generation of hoopers right here. Shoes by the end of the night. Cross Lincoln is more hot on the other side, like where it says Hoop Lab on the map. That's the hot area. The goal is to find 50, okay? 50. Keep walking, yeah, yeah, yeah. These hating freaking people at the hotel told him to take it down. And uh, the guy came out and he said, who put this up there? And I was like, I feel like it's a little one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> I'm sorry you're it was good. taken down because it was beautiful. It caught our attention. Five pairs of socks because they're up there instead of on my feet. I like the Mario, the mushroom, and how you had to use it to get into the 7 Eleven box. It was really cool. We just we just told her we'll take it home, but we just can't bring it to you guys. Yeah, I just got the sock. Yeah, here we go, though. Yeah, that's making sure you guys got it back. I have a hard time letting other people have fun. I'm like, what's 10 minutes or an hour a day, some kids, parents, children taking a couple shots on a hoop. You don't want the hoop, so you cut it down. That person needs a hug. They need some love. She wanted to see the hoop bus so bad, man. We've been walking in circles. I was like... So the, the hoop cart is a new service. We 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 experimenting today. Today is the first day of life for the hoop cart. Again, like just like the hoop bus, we want to put hoop carts all over the street. We got the hoop cart to keep people safe, keep people playing, and uh, it also blocks traffic. You know, I think people need to get out of their cart. And also, we free of gas. You know what I mean? Zero emission. I love the box effect. When you look at when the ball goes through the red. It just feels like the, the ball's taking you to a whole different world. And it's high like a giraffe. 
It's kind of crazy. Have you made a shot yet? Did you even know it was basketball court? No, I thought that was just a giraffe. <laughs> you, thought <that> was... <laughs> you thought it was just a giraffe? Come on, you gotta make a shot. Make a shot. Make a shot. Make it. All right. All right. Make...